Hi everybody. Today's story is simply called Families and it's a reminder that family is who you love. My name is Angie. I am six. Here is everything I know about families. Families are who you live with and who you love. I live with my mother most of the time and with my father on vacations. I also have two grandmas and one grandpa and some aunts and uncles and cousins. They are all in my family, but I don't live with them. My mother and I live in a big building in New York. We have a laundry in the basement. I help to do the wash. I carry the soap and put the money in the slot and fold the dry clothes. Then my mother says, thank you, partner, and kisses my nose. My father lives in Boston with my stepmother, Alice. They have a little baby named Mickey. He's my half-brother. We have the same father, but not the same mother, so he's only a half, but he's just as good as a whole. I help burp him after he has his bottle. The burp sounds as loud as a firecracker and makes me laugh. Then Mickey smiles too. My father says it's because his stomach feels better, but I think it's because he's glad I'm there. This is a lion's family. One father, one mother, and three cubs. They all live together in a cage at the zoo. My friend George also lives with one father, one mother, and two brothers, but not in a cage. His big brother, Gus, is nine. Sometimes he lets us play baseball with him, but we never get to bat. I'm the catcher. George says that when his baby brother can walk, he'll let him be the catcher, then I can pitch, and George will be the batter. I say we should all share. <clears throat> this is my friend Marisol from school. She has a big family. She lives with her mother, her Aunt Rosa, her grandma and grandpa, her brothers, Carlos and Hector, and her baby sister, Mariana. Her father and another grandma live in Puerto Rico. Marisol's Aunt Rosa works in a dress factory. She is very good at making clothes and made Marisol a pink party dress for her birthday. When I went to Marisol's party, her Aunt Rosa looked at the label in my dress and started to laugh. She said she made my dress too, when she was at work. I said, it's a good thing you did or I wouldn't have anything to wear. Marisol taught me how to say hello in Spanish. Buenos dias, Angie. Buenos dias, Marisol. This is my cousin Louie. He's adopted. That means he didn't come from my Aunt Julie's belly, but they got him someplace else. They get to keep him forever though. Louie is very tough. He broke his arm falling out of a tree and only cried a little. Aunt Julie says she loves every bone in his body and hopes he doesn't break them all before he's 10. These are ants. They live in a glass box in my school. There is only one mother ant, the queen, but lots of fathers and hundreds and hundreds of tiny babies. You can hardly see them, they're so small. When I was little, I used to step on ants, but now I don't because their families might be sad. Douglas has two beds. One is at his mother's and the other is downstairs at his grandma's. He stays downstairs during the week because his mother works nights managing a bakery and his grandma brings him to school in the morning. On weekends, he stays with his mom and she takes him to the playground and brings a big bag of donuts from her job and gives them to all the kids. I like Douglas's mother. This is my mom friend's Emma. 
She lives with Arthur. They have no kids, but they like them to visit. They have a collection of 16 paperweights with snow falling inside, and they let me play with them. I try to make them all snow at once. Here is a family of chickens. They live together in a chicken coop. There are lots of mother hens, but only one father for all these baby chicks. He's a rooster. Willie lives with his father. He knows how to sew on Willie's buttons when they come off, and he makes him pancakes and bacon every Sunday morning. He invited our whole class on Willie's birthday. 25 kids. My mother said, you've got to be kidding. But he said, you're only five once. There was a great big cake with superheroes all over it because Willie wants to be a superhero when he grows up. All the other parents helped clean up after the party because it got a little messy. Susie lives with her mother and her godmother. They took her to the roller rink and she won a prize for the best skater under 12. The prize was a silver pin shaped like a roller skate. When I asked Susie where her father lives, she said she doesn't have any father. So George said he would be her father. Then Douglas said he wanted to be her father too, so we had to let them both do it. Susie was the baby and Willie was the brother and Marisol was the mother. I got to be the teacher. Kids can be like families too. Some dogs have people for a family. They only live with their own mothers when they are babies. After that, they move out and live with people. But when they see other dogs in the street, they are very interested. A woman in our building has four dogs, but I don't think they are brothers because they all look so different. Sometimes I wish my parents both lived in one house like George's, or at least in the same city. But he wants to be like me. He asked his mom when she was going to get a divorce because he wants to fly to Boston all by himself. It's not fair, he told me. So I said he could come with me if he lets me ride his bike whenever I want. There are lots of different kinds of families. Some are big and some are small. Some are animals and some are people. Some live in one house and some live in two or three. The main thing isn't where they live or how big they are, it's how much they love each other. And so that's our story for today. It's called Families. It's written by Meredith Tax and illustrated by Mary Lynn Hafner. And I'll see you next time with another story.